This is Twit. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am Matt Pruitt. You may know me as the host of Hands On Photography here at Twit TV, but I am also the owner of Ant Pruitt Media. So I guess you can say I'm actually a, a content creator and an executive, right? Right? Yes, I know it's a stretch, but it is what it is. Hey, I want to talk to you folks about a laptop and it is an executive laptop and it's from the folks at Acer and it's the Acer Swift 5 executive laptop. Okay, so over the years, Acer has had a bit of a reputation of being the low cost, inexpensive, I'll just go ahead and say it, cheap laptop uh, options out there for people that are running the world of Windows or Chrome OS for the Chromebook side of things. And, you know, unfortunately, having that moniker could, could you know, give you a bit of a bad rep because you're thinking, OK, this thing is inexpensive. It's not going to be worth a dang. That's not always the case. Sometimes it's quite a value in those devices. And over the years, here, especially here recently, since the pandemic, uh, Acer has been stepping its game up with the products that it's been putting out there uh, for the masses. And yes, these devices are still a little bit more on the value side of things, but they don't necessarily feel or perform like a value device. These things have pretty nice components built into them. And in particular, this laptop, the Acer Swift 5, this is an executive laptop that's going to offer you a 12 gen Intel Core processor. Um, this one that I'm testing out this time uh, actually has a Core i7 12 core, and it is really, really fast. Granted, it's an Intel chip, so it's going to need some uh, heat dissipation. But don't worry, Acer has that handled quite nicely in this chassis design as it has dual fans on the inside with a nice bit of uh, perfect ingenuity uh, to give you some heat exhaust coming out uh, with the uh, heat sinks on the sides and the bottom of it. It's quite nice and I really enjoy how they put that together because as you open the lid, the body of the, the laptop comes up off of the table or your lap a little bit just to provide more airflow for those fans to work the way that they should to incorporate cooler air inside of the laptop body. Very nice, 14 inch lap laptop. The screen is gonna clock in at 2560 by 1600 resolution, not the standard 16 to nine aspect ratio where it's 2560 to 1440. So it's, it's a little more, a little bit more on the tighter side of things, not necessarily the wide view. And it's absolutely beautiful. So it's a little bit higher than HD quality, but not quite 4K. So it's perfectly fine for an executive that is staring at reports, emails, graphics for review, so on and so forth. And this model comes with 16 gigs of RAM, plenty, plenty of horsepower and Iris Intel graphics. Now, OK, so, yes, I said I am the executive of my business, you know, when I'm not doing my stuff for Twit. Uh, but at the same time, I'm still a content creator. So can I use this laptop to create content? That is a yes and a maybe. All right. So can I take photographs, you know, shoot raw photos and bring them in to, to Photoshop, Lightroom or what have you and process those raw photos most of the time? Yes. Can I do the same with video? Mm, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I tried running Premiere Pro on this device and from a spec standpoint, yeah, it should be totally fine on it. But my performance with Premiere Pro was a little bit sketchy at times. DaVinci Resolve, on the other hand, was 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 quite nice. It was a lot better playing around with that. I could still process some some uh, videos on there. But Again, it, the export times wasn't necessarily as fast as it would be on my desktop uh, with a much better graphics card. But this is still something that was quite doable in a pinch, if you will, because you got to think about it. An executive is not going to be doing these tasks. OK, an executive is just going to be using their laptop to connect with their team or connect with their clients and prospects and so forth and review some things here and there. They're not really needing a ton of extra computing power, just enough to allow them to get these simple tasks done throughout the day. And that's what this laptop is going to do. It's going to give you multiple Thunderbolt 4 ports. You get two Thunderbolt 4 ports. You get an HDMI port. You get two USB ports. You do not get an SD card reader. Man, I still long for the days of an SD card reader on laptops. Just bring that back. Please let's let's normalize the SD card reader on a uh, laptop, please. And thank you. 
But you get all of the extra the, the IO that you need to get work done. Battery life on this is rated to be really, really ridiculously high. They're, they're claiming 14 hours of battery life on this one. As usual, I take that with the grain of salt because, yeah, a laptop will run for 14 hours if you just turn it on and let it sit there. But when you start doing work and you start kicking those fans up, especially with an Intel processor, that 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 time is going to start to creep down. So, no, I wasn't getting 14 hours, but I was getting roughly roughly eight hours uh, right at eight hours or so of use, just day to day use without having to worry about finding my charger for this one. So good battery life It's enough to get work done in a typical work day. So from a software standpoint, this device comes pretty clean ish. It did have a little bit of what I call crapware, a bloatware on it. It came with an Amazon app installed. I didn't need that. And it also came with a service called uh, killer Intel killer intelligence since system. And that sort of scared me when I saw killer in the title, you know, it just has a weird connotation, but what this application is, it is a service to help you manage the network, uh, bandwidth on your device. So if I can pull it, I can actually pull it up on my screen here. It is just an application that shows you all of the internet connectivity from the apps on your device, what they're doing at the time. If they're, um, you know, if you're live streaming, you can check the health of the network and you can even go into different screens and block certain apps from accessing the network and things like that, just like you would with any other firewall. But they just give you a pretty simple dashboard, if you will, right there in the system tray of Windows 11. Um, again, it's not something that's going to make or break the deal, but it is a feature that is available on this Swift 5 laptop. Again, the Acer Swift 5, an outstanding laptop. I love the form factor of it. It's not, you know, super razor thin like those MacBook Airs, anything like that. So you don't get that chic look, but it does have a beautiful design and it feels nice. It doesn't feel like a quote unquote value laptop. And hey, they, they did a good job. They marketing this device towards the executives uh, with the creative with the creative mindset. But I think they they they. I think they really hit the mark on this one. This is the perfect laptop for that. You can get the Asus Swift 5 online. You can go to Amazon. We'll have some affiliate links available in show notes, of course. Right now, at the time of recording, this uh, Swift 5 is selling for $1,500. Or you can check it out on the Acer website. Yeah. Thank you, Acer, for sending this on over to me. Really nice laptop. Again, it's not too much you can say about laptops nowadays, but other than they, they have to have the ports, they have to have the storage and have to be fast enough for you to get your job done. And on all three of those points, Acer knocked it out. All right, I'm Ant Pruitt. Make sure you check out my show, Hands-On Photography, here on the network, and I shall see y'all next time. Take care.